So we have come across a ghost of a campground. Yeah. What we want to show you today is some things that's just going to boggle your mind. Let us show you around this abandoned campground. This whole area here was at one point campsites. You can see the concrete pads. And it's beautiful. I mean, just amazingly beautiful. But the only people enjoying it now are the geese. So, this ghost of a campground is really a tale of two campgrounds. What you've been seeing, the abandoned sites, the amenities that have gone, that have fallen away by the wayside just with age. This is a 50 to 60 year old campground. So the campground that we are at is a Thousand Trails campground. It's Virginia Landing. It's on a, the peninsula of Virginia near uh, New, Newport. Mm -hmm. Yep, on the other side of Chesapeake Bay. So it's a great location, beautiful place. Yes, and that's why I call it a tell of two campgrounds. It's, it's, when you first get here, it's kind of disheartening when you see so many sites that have been uh, X'd off where they're not using them. And I'm not sure if they were that way when they bought the campground years and years ago and never updated it. But this is dis disheartening uh, campground in one sense. But in other sense, it's a beautiful, beautiful campground. It's like 82 acres. It's right on the bay on one side. It's got a river on the other side. If you're just looking for some peace and quiet, mm -hmm. a beautiful sunset, a beautiful sunrise, hikes, riding your bike, just having fun, then this is the place for you. And, and I would come back. I'm not sure if Lynn, Lynn has a thing, but... But I, would, I come. would come back too. Uh, the campground does not have sewer at the sites, so it's like I think about the only thousand trails we've ever been at that doesn't have sewer at the sites. But that's because it is, it's old, you know. There's a lot of history here. Uh, we talked to a man a couple of sites up this way, and he said the far end of it used to be a horse farm, and they, would, they had horses, and there's a, a running track for the horses back there and everything that you can ride your bikes on now. And he worked here when he was actually 16, 16, 16 years old, so mm -hmm. uh, he has seen it. Um, and we've talked to people that are here or live in the area, and it's kind of a mixed blessing. If you add all the amenities back and, and really build it up, then are you going to ruin the peace and quiet? Because it really is. Uh, Peaceful campground. The stars are amazing at night and uh, very quiet at night. So it's, it's on one hand, like I said, on one hand, just something that tugs at your heart man this could be so much more and the other hand it's hey this is beautiful beautiful nature yeah and we want to show you some of the things that that we really love about virginia landing thousand trails man he got away again again We go right back here behind the cabins. That's the cool thing. You can see the barrier islands on the other side of this. Very cool place. Picnic tables out back of all the cabins.
as you can see along with the horseshoes they still got a active putt putt most of them are in pretty good shape better than most parks There's probably about a mile of open green area here. So the bathhouses are just your average older campground, campground bathhouses. Uh, this is actually a lot nicer than the one that's over on our side. There are three sections open for RVs. Very nice. A lot of them are in the pines here. Here's another section that's uh, all shade on this side. The side to the right has a uh, probably sun 50% of the time. Just a beautiful, beautiful area. Reminds you of a state park. This is the third section. It was pretty much filled up this weekend. 100% sun, uh, view of the bay. Your rig's kind of tilted towards that way. This is the second bathhouse with the laundry. Uh, it is coins only, so bring coins with you when you come. Here's another bike slash walking path. Looks like it's kept regularly mowed. I will tell you, this place has about the friendliest staff of any thousand trails we have ever been to. Miss Sue brought us popsicles yesterday in the afternoon when it was so hot, she rode around on the golf cart and brought popsicles to all the campers. <laughs> I see you. And the young man that works here, he found out that I wanted to fish, but didn't have any bait and didn't want to go 20 miles out to get one. So he brought me some of his. great place to like have a family get together to bring friends and hang out with for a few days because you just you got a place to yourself so the phone service is pretty good here i um i have you know depending on the time of day and the other people on it i have really good service the data is also yep. good here so if you wanted to come here and relax and get a little work done on the side you would have the data to do it also which was a huge surprise to us we got like 20 plus channels on our antenna for our tv not that we're big TV watchers. Yeah, I always like to watch the morning news and get the weather. One thing we've kind of thought is that this campground itself is a cross between a thousand trails and like a state park. Because if you were at a state park, you wouldn't have the sewer, you wouldn't have the uh, swimming pool or all the other stuff going on. You'd have exactly what you have in this thousand trails. But we've been to many state parks where you didn't have the amenities, you didn't have the pool, you didn't have sewer on site you had to go use the dump station so that's why we say it's a cross and it's all about expectations if you know coming in that it's going to be peace mm -hmm. and quiet and there are next to no amenities uh, besides the, what we said before the views the, the great staff that comes around and checks on you and, and, and takes care of you and as long as you have great expectations and realize what Virginia Landing is then it'll be a great place to visit yeah you're gonna love it if you come and stay days and use it to revive yeah are you revived i am revived you're it, revived and get out and and see those sunsets look at the stars because mm -hmm. it's great and if you can get up early one morning and uh, on a cloudless morning you'll see a great yeah yeah we got up early this morning to go see the sunrise and got out there got all set up and everything but there was a lot of clouds and the sun still hasn't shown and it is 10 30. Which we're not complaining about the sun not showing because it has been really warm. And we hope to see it maybe tomorrow morning if we... The clouds should be gone tomorrow, so maybe we'll have a sun, sunrise to show you this. Yes. Since we like this campground so much, it's because our favorite campground is Piney, which is located in Land Between the Lakes uh, National Recreation Area in Dover, Tennessee. is just like this. Yeah, it reminds us so much of this park. Mm -hmm. Lynn took her, her girls there. As they were growing, growing up, up, it was their home uh, campground, so they really spent mm -hmm. a lot of time there. And this reminds us a lot of that area. Yeah. 
Is that so, no salt water in Tennessee at Piney? It's a little bit far from the salt yeah, water. But we had the big Kentucky Lake. Yes. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And hit that notification bell because you're going to want to see the videos we got coming up just for you. And they come out every Saturday. Yep. We got a lot planned and a lot going on, folks. So take us a quick minute. Give us a thumbs up. That's right. And share the videos with your friend if you know a friend who travels with Thousand Trails. Or you can just rent this park here and just come in as an individual and stay here. It doesn't have to be a Thousand Trails member to do that. Right. Until next time, God bless and many safe travels. And go RV America.